Hello and welcome to a tutorial on RPG Developer by Team. Today I'm going to show you how to make a status bar uh, track your stat one of your statuses. Today we're going to show you how to do uh, HP and then from there you should be able to figure out how to do the rest. Alright, so to start we need to make a common event. So we'll go over here to add and do a custom event. And we need to go to insert. I don't do the panel mode. I always do it in text mode because it's a lot easier to see. Um, you're more than welcome to do the panel mode, but I like doing it in text mode because um, it's a lot easier to see your uh, conditionals. But we're going to go over to the variable boxes over here. Uh, variable bots assignment and, oh, I'm sorry, advanced variable bots operation. To what? We need to add a, oh, come on, HP percentage. Okay, and it needs to go to cast status, and we're going to set it to hero, because usually it'll be your top person that's up here. Um, and see, super simple is right here, current HP percent, and assign it. So this way we can always pull the um, HP percentage and not have to worry about uh, messing with the actual value. It is set in this variable right here, the HP percentage that we just made. Also, you need to make sure that the uh, event is set to repeat in parallel, which means it's repeating constantly and you can still move around. Okay. After that, we need to set some conditionals. So check string variable bots. Oh, nope, not string, my bad. Check variable bots. So when HP percentage is greater than or equal to 96, meaning when it is greater than or equal to 96%. And when it is greater than or equal to 96%, we're going to insert event panel, screen effects, display image. I've already made some images for where is it? Let me, I should have had this already, my bad. <laughs> uh, pictures, there it is. I've already made some HUD pictures here. Um, this isn't actually drawing anything personally, so this is like, you'll have to make these images yourself if you wanted to have something different. Um, I'll be providing these images in the file. Uh, the uh, workshop file for these bars. Um, so this is 100%. So you do specify display position. So if you want it to have it say above right the player right here, you do it about right there. Um, generally, I like putting it about right here because that's going to show it. Because I'm not going to keep it this it's this size because it's too big. I make it big on purpose because the bigger it is, it small uh when you shrink it down the better it'll look um so if you put it about right here it'll be about right on the bottom of the screen but we're gonna go ahead and just put it up the top for right now and then uh, also make sure you uh keep track of your image control number this is very important later on um if i were you i would make a bunch of uh, or make a note a common event that has nothing in it and just write down all your image numbers um, that has uh, that keep track of everything because after a while you're gonna lose track because it, you you can't have the same image control number for everything because if you do then uh, only the most recent one will show and uh, not all of them will show so they have to have their own image control number all right, so magnif magnification ratio, I always do, uh, I'd say about 50 should be okay. 50 should be okay. Let's go see how that looks. Quick. And when you test play, yeah, see, perfect. It's right up there. Awesome. That looks great. All right. So, going back to the common event.
see, this is why I like um, going to the text because you can literally see the conditional branching right there. Uh, this is the branching if the condition is correct and this is if the condition is wrong you can put your conditionals in here and like i mean it's the same thing as over here too but like it it can look a little confusing honestly um but i definitely like this so just simple copy paste set down to 86 go back click the image we're going to go back to select from file. You can even import these. So we'll go to 90%. Again, like I said, uh, these might not be your exact images. Um, this is just a, like an example saying 90% of like exactly what I was doing. Um, you might have your own sort of images. And uh, if you'd like, if y'all would like, I will show you how to do like a uh, heart um, status values and whatnot. But right now, I'm just showing you um, HP. All right, 80%. And I could use the shortcuts, but I mean, honestly, it's just easier to use the mouse. I might just go ahead and go back and just do this quicker. There, there, there. Oh, not yet. Okay. There, there, there. Twenty six. And also with this method too is like you can have your HP greater than like a hundred, like you can have your HP to like three hundred and it'll still reflect because this is doing percentage, not like whole value. Um, let's see, the copy, paste. Okay, there's twenty. One more, so that should be. Sets for 10. And again, you could do um, uh, 5% increments as well. Uh, I just did 10 to be uh, easier. All you would do is, is you would do, you would just subtract 5 from the, or 4 from the amount you're trying to sh uh, visualize. So like if it was 95, you do not uh, greater than 91. All right, so that's 100, let's see, 70. And I'm sure eventually there'll be a way to where uh, hopefully we can just draw it in C sharp or something, but I don't know C sharp and I don't really plan or really don't have the dedication or the time to learn C sharp. So, I'm just going by what the engine is letting me use. So we're just going to go with that. HP 40. Okay. 30. and 10 and 10 okay oh actually we need to have one more so and one So I think I have five percenter just because it looks better that way. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, 
you're going to see something that, uh, here, we're going to name the event. And always make sure you're naming your events. Come on. Oh, HP percent count. Visuals. Okay. You're going to see something that, um, uh, we're going to fit in a second, but, um, this is something you have to do or this will not work properly. So, yeah, you're going to see that it goes straight to the 5%. Why is that? Well, we're not ending the loop instantly. So, it, it's going super fast. And um, it's not able to calculate right away. So, it's like... Oh yeah, cool. It's 96. Cool. Awesome. We got there. It's greater than that. Than that, that. So what you need to do is go to control and then just uh, end the event. That's it. And then it'll display perfectly. Copy. Paste. Paste. Yeah, you Paste, paste. I'll even show you a little. Uh, we'll make a little um, event that uh, will attach player to. See, perfect. And you can see HP percent is a hundred percent. Um, oop, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> um. Yeah, so HP percent is 100%. So we will go back to, uh, we will make a quick little event. Um, we'll do, we'll do this little goblin here. All right, what we'll do is just make, whenever we talk to him, we'll just have him damage us or something. Something quick and easy. Uh, I'm still getting used to this whole there it is system okay so when player talks we will just do a simple um statuses reduce recover reduce hp now eventually um hero um you won't be doing it for a value you would be doing it from a, a variable but I won't get into all that. We'll just do minus like. Uh, actually, we'll do a we'll do a random number. Um, add random. We'll do RNG. Okay, and then above that you would put your RNG. So we'll do variable boxes. Um, uh, Variable box. Oh no. Oh, uh, bots operation. My bad. So RNG, random number. We'll do zero to, or we'll do one to ten. Why not? Okay. All right. So when that happens. See, and then when you press, see, so the HP percentage is 76 right now. And then sit there, and then we're dead. Cool. All right, yep, see, and it's back to normal. Because uh, it as soon as you enter a map, I guess it, uh, or I guess, I hope it's only when you start, restart the game. I'm not 100% sure when you enter a map if it, saved your data i'm pretty sure it's only when you die you restart everything but uh yeah that's it um if you have any questions just uh shoot me a message on discord and i will answer it as best as i can uh thanks for watching Bye bye